we have an NIH study that says that people who smoke marijuana are two and a half times more likely to become addicted to opioids based upon a study of over 45,000 people across the country. Not done by any partisan organization, done by the National Institutes of Health. Um, this is not debatable stuff. Um, but the marijuana industry is so ravenous to get their hands on this money that they don't care that it's blood money. And that's what it is. And we're having a candlelight vigil tonight to recognize the families across this state that are being absolutely decimated by this epidemic. And the idea that in the midst of this epidemic we want to legalize another drug, to me, is completely anti-common sense and unthinkable. Well, I'm willing to predict to you right now the revenue, I think the governor-elect said it was going to be $300 million of revenue. You'll never see it. Not anywhere close. If he gets half that, he's lucky. And, and then, you know, the idea that that's not going to make this stuff more available to kids in different forms is just sophistry. It's going to. And, you know, everybody wants to be cool and say, hey, let's make it legal. I don't care about being cool.